If you fly to Europe, you know, you fly over the ice sheet and you get a sense what it's about, but when you're actually out camping on it for three to four weeks, you know, the scale is pretty immense. Some of the mountains in the Himalayas grow as much as maybe five or six or seven millimeters a year. So that's small, right? But that means that they can be five kilometers high in a million years. We work a lot in the East African Rift and in the Himalayas and Tibet and the Pamir and Hindu Kush ranges of Afghanistan and just some really spectacular places. And then also scientifically, I'm interested in mountains. Well, why would you be anywhere else? This is the dream spot. We have had some amazing opportunities to be out in the mountains here in the Northern Rockies. And to me, those are really special, partly scientifically, but partly because it's just a magical place to be. We have specimens from over 20 different countries. It's very extensive geographically and in time, so in deep time. So our oldest specimens are billions of years old. We have almost 300 publications that have come from this collection since the mid-1900s. sitting in this valley that was once occupied by this glacial lake that has a, a river that runs through it. It's a challenge to actually be in rivers when they're flooding and to collect data. It's a real challenge to sort of think through how we can get measurements and to do it in a safe way. Sometimes we'll take advantage of bridges and take measurements. You know, one of the satisfying things is when you see students sort of start to go from being a receiver of science to a creator of science, paving the way for, you know, going on to careers as scientists. This is a really exciting field. It's all about the world we live in and how it works. For that reason, it's a fun department to be a part of. Going out there and standing on those things or being in that place and having a personal experience with it is really important. So one of the reasons why it's like the best thing ever to be a geologist here at the University of Montana is you, all you have to do is look out the window. 